Single setup phones only. As the K2 is bus powered, it is ideal for mixing on the move. Whether you're on a train, waiting for a flight, or at a hotel preparing for a gig, with its compact size, K2 is the perfect tool for manipulating your chosen DJ software. K2 allows controls of multiple decks simultaneously in your DJ software without the need for an external mixer. You can set and save cue points, loops, or beat grid tracks to use during your gig. Start by connecting your K2 to your PC or Mac with the USB cable provided. Plug your headphones into the 3.5mm socket at the front of the unit. In your chosen software application, set your monitor or headphone output to sound card outputs 1 and 2. This will route the audio to your headphones. From the Preferences window in Tractor, click on Audio Setup and select Audio Device. Choose Zone K2 from the list. Now set your output routine. Make sure your mixing mode is on internal and your output monitor is set as shown. From the Preferences window in Ableton, select Audio and select Audio Output Device. Choose Zone K2 from the list. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo is enabled. Choose OK. Check that the Q out and master out both display 1, 2. From the preferences window in Tractor, click on audio setup and select audio device. Choose zone K2 USB ASIO driver from the list. Now set your output routing. Make sure your mixing mode is on internal and your output monitor as shown. From the preferences window in Ableton, select audio and make sure the driver type is set to ASIO. In the audio device list, choose the Zone K2 USB ASIO driver. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo is enabled. Choose OK. Check that the Q out and master out both display 1, 2. To import the Tractor MIDI map known as a TSI file, in the Preferences window in Tractor, select Controller Manager. Choose Import. Browse to the save location of the TSI file you wish to load. Select and open it. In the Categories to Import window, select OK. Make sure that the MIDI device import and output are set to Zone K2 for both devices in the K2 map. To import the Ableton MIDI map, known as an ALS file, select Open Live Set from the File menu. Browse to the save location of the ALS file you wish to load. Select and open it. You will see the layout change according to the ALS file you have chosen. Now open the Preferences panel. Choose MIDI Sync tab. On the MIDI ports, set the Zone K2 input track on and remote on. Then set the Zone K2 output track on and remote on.